Hello, hello, it's Brady Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another DIY. So if you're interested in seeing that, please be sure to stay tuned. Again, thank you so, so, so much for tuning into my channel today. I have two more Christmas themed DIYs for you using Dollar Tree products. I'm super excited about these today. Um, there are obviously millions more, you know, projects that you could work on, but I just decided that this will probably be enough because I have a ton of other things to do and film that I would like to share with you guys. So anyway, I look forward to making these for you. Please be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. And I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and get working. All right, so for your first project, you will need, or I'm going to be using, some decorative nautical rope, some of the garland strips from Dollar Tree. And most of the projects, like I said, did come from Dollar Tree. Um, but then there's some materials that did not, of course. You're going to use one of the canvas. This is the largest one that they have in the 8 by 10 So here's your just blank white canvas. And I'm going to use one of these window clings. I just absolutely love the red trucks and the trees. I thought they were very pretty, so I will be using these. I will also be using Mod Podge the Nimbus Waverly paint, chalk white paint, also from Waverly. I have a few of my paint brushes, a paint tray from Dollar Tree, and then of course my handy dandy glue gun. So the first step is going to be obviously opening our canvas. And like I said, this is the eight by 10 size canvas so it's the largest one to my knowledge that they have and even though this canvas is already white i'm going to go ahead and add some more white paint to it just because i like the chalk paint look a little bit better than just plain white canvas i just think it adds a little bit of extra pizzazz i was so happy you guys to be able to find this waverly paint um because i know in my last video which i will link above i did mention that they it's harder to find like they keep running out here at the stores near me oh now i have paint all over my hands oh well crafter's dream so they keep running out of the, at the store near me. So I was so excited to find it. And I grabbed the biggest jar that I could find. So like I said, I'm just going to quickly, I don't know if you can see the difference, but the chalk paint just has a little bit more of like a sheen to it than the actual canvas, which like I said, you probably can't see. So. Feel free if you decide to do this project to skip this step. Because I'm not sure if you can see. And now since that is dry, I am going to take the Nimbus, which is a really, really beautiful light gray color, and I'm just going to dry brush it around the edges a little bit. I guess not necessarily just around the edges, but just to add a little bit more color and texture. That is good and there we go and that'll be drying while I'm continuing on with the project so then I'm going to take my wreath um, not wreath, the little stems here 
And it looks like I may have to cut them a little bit. Let's see, I'm gonna cut it down to size. Right about there. All right. And then I am going to just glue this down. So now that that has been outlined, which I think is so cute, I am going to take, um, let's use, I think I'll actually use the, no, I think I'll use the car for this project. So the car, we're going to lay him out here and then... And put this joy yes I like that all right so what I'm gonna do is take some Mod Podge which they do carry Mod Podge at Dollar Tree because I use so much of it I just go ahead and buy the bigger ones, um, but they do have the smaller ones at the store. And so I'm going to just paint the entire canvas because my podge, although it says satin, it does kind of give your, the object that you're painting a little bit of color, not color, really like a shine. All right, next step is going to be taking our rope. And we don't need a huge amount. But I'm going to tie a knot on this side. on this side. Get rid of this end with the tape on it. All right, so now I have my two sides here. I am going to just add this to the top, roughly in the middle. And I'm literally just going to glue it there. So we'll put some glue here. Extra generous with the glue. And I like the knots in the front. I just think it looks better and it just gives you a little more, I guess, texture to the piece versus putting the knot in the back. And also, it's a little, uh-oh, put that one on back. 
backwards. It's a little easier to hang if the knot is in the front versus having it sticking off of your wall in the back. All right, so that is glued on. And then my last step is going to be to lightly take my paintbrush with the, more of this Waverly paint. And I'm just going to gently, ever so slightly, paint the garland so that it has that snowy look, which is so cute. Oops, I got a little bit on the rope, but that's okay. Everything is snowy. Maybe I should have done this step first. <laughs> but here we are. All right, so there we go. It is all finished. A beautiful, just little hanging piece that you can hang up. All right, for project number two, I'm going to be using this Christmas sign. Well, I'll be using the back of it anyway, not this side, um, from Dollar Tree. I will also be using my trucks again. So the trucks and the trees. This time I will be adding my favorite little buffalo plaid bow. And I have two picks and these are ones that I featured in my last video from, they're actually from Dollar General, but they were a dollar still. So I went ahead and picked these up. Then I have my Waverly chalk paint in white, Waverly chalk paint in Nimbus and my Mod Podge. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do for this project is to remove the tags. And then I thought about removing, well, I think I'm going to take it off. Mm, I don't think it's going to allow me to do that. I'm just going to leave it alone, but I will pull it and just kind of tuck it to get out of the way. I thought about switching it out for the big one like I used on the other project, but I think it's fine just the way that it is. So again, step one is going to be to paint the entire thing in this chalk white. Okay, so the white paint is now dry and I probably could have done another coat of white paint if you want it to be perfectly white. But just as before, I knew I was going to dry brush this Nimbus on there. So I didn't really see the need to make it perfectly white. I knew I was gonna add this little spot of t color, which We'll add um, some texture to it. Now, another thing that I wish I would have done was to take the time to get that sticky off of here. I don't even know if you guys can see it in your camera, but there was a label there that wasn't even on when I actually bought it. So somehow it got peeled off probably at the store. And I should have probably sanded that spot just so that it wasn't sticky right there in the middle, but I thought that the paint would cover it up and you wouldn't be able to see, so I didn't touch it. But, oh well, this is going in my home, so <laughs> it'll be perfect for what I need it for.
Okay, so because those are so long, let me see if I can cut. Okay, so I cut those down a little bit just because they were way too long and I didn't want you to be able to see so much stem. And I'm just going to put one on this side. Let's put a little glue right there. And put a little bit more glue right here. Put the other one on this side. And I just noticed that they are really two different colors. But that is okay. These just do not want to stick down. So, plan number two <laughs> would be to get rid of the greenery. I don't know why it doesn't want to stick to this today, but that's okay. It actually works out because I'm going to have to cut the tails off of this bow. So that it doesn't cover up my sign. All right. The best part about DIY crafts is there's no rules. So let's try this again. We'll just pop some glue here in the middle. And my bow here which is much better because it's not covering up my sign and we're gonna let that be <laughs> what it is so the finished product of course will hang here and I think it's cute not what I was anticipating on doing but that's crafts for you and one of the things in DIYs you have to remember is you have to be flexible and know that everything that you try may not always work out the way that it's going to work out in your mind, but that's okay. I think it's super cute. It'll still go very nicely with the decor for my home that I have set up for Christmas, and I love it. So after I woke up the next day and looked at the project again, I decided that it needed something else. So I took one of the garland strips, cut it in half, glued it to either side of the bow, and then just added a little bit of the white paint to mimic snow. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below letting me know which wall hanging is your favorite. And also let me know what colors you are using to decorate your home for Christmas. I'm just kind of curious to see what everyone is doing this year. All right, so thank you so much for watching. And as always, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to share, 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 share. Let's grow this channel as much as possible so that I can continue to make new content for you all. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.